Next thing I'm going to work on is station M here. So M wasn't put in flat on the table because it, uh, it goes up to a peak. So after these bends were done, now you can put M in. So I'm going to start fabricating that and put it in. All right, so to make this little peak on M, it just rises two inches in the center. So what I did was drew out the width, put a, a nail at the end, and then marked that two inches at the center. I got a couple tubes so that I can line them up on this line, and I just need to fix this gap. So I'm just going to take them to the belt sander and sand them down until they meet properly. And then I'll tack this together. Okay, so I welded that together with this peak, and I set up a center line between uh, <coughs> these two other stations uh, before and after M. So now I'm just going to take and use that to determine the center where this weld goes, and kind of mark where I'm going to start. Right, and cut the tube off, and then. Uh, start coping it to fit. If I station M marked out where it goes, which is right here. So now that I get those marks, I'll just cut it and cope it. Okay, so with both ends coped, I can put it in here. And I can look down this center line I put in, string line, to the line on the table and line up the center. It's right where I want it. So now I'll just tack that in place and go on and do the, uh, the cross pieces that meet the center here. fabricating and fitting these uh, diagonals that go on the front back and come back to station M. And so I'm going to tack them in place. It's no longer working on a nice flat surface. We have some little holders to hold the tube in place for me. So they're 3D printed, they clip on the tube, and then they just use some carriage bolts and wing nuts so you can adjust them to any position. Work pretty good. I'm going to set this one up here. I'll set this one up over here. And it'll hold the tube in place for me while I tack it. So here's a closer view of that bracket. Um, and then I just 3D printed different sizes for different tubes. And everything's interchangeable. So that'll work nicely to hold the tube in place. And when I start doing vertical tubes, of course, it'll work there, too. Station M here now has all its cross bracing, and the top frame is now complete with all its tubes. So uh, we'll now move on to the verticals. And the next phase I'm working on is putting these vertical tubes in. So I'll work on the next two stations, which are basically, um, well, they're not vertical, but they go from bottom to top. And, uh, and then work my way to the nose. So I've started here with tail post. And I've done all the preliminary, making sure everything's straight and level where it needs to be. And I'm just going to keep fitting these. So I'll do this other one over here for station uh, HJ and uh, go through the steps. All this 
tubing is always covered with some uh, protective oil of some sort, so I just use some acetone to remove it because otherwise it's just a big mess. So this is station H right here and I just need to know what the angle is because th this tube's going vertical so I get nine degrees and I'll just use that to uh, do my first cut. All right so I'll put my tube in here now I've done a few other tubes so this is already on the center of the tube but I'm looking for nine degrees here so I'll set my tube to nine degrees. And then I'll go ahead and poke the one end. So now I can check just to make sure that it, it fits nicely. So it's a real nice fit. This is a 5 eighths to a 3 quarters, so it doesn't come over the sides as far. And so now, because we're going to line up right on this tube, I just need to remove some material over here on the inside here. And I'll do that on the belt sander. And now I've shortened that tube up. I'm just going to mark the angle direction. So this is coming this way, just so that I don't screw it up when I set it up in the middle. I'll do it on both sides, because whatever side I do it on will be the one I can't see. So now I need an angle. Because this tube is vertical, I can just read an angle straight off the top. And it's about three degrees. All right, so I've done that initial cut on the top there, and it's too long. But the fit is good, which is what I care about. So the angle and everything is, is good. So now I'll just start shortening it up. So I went back and forth a couple times and a little bit on the grinder and there's the fit I want. So now I'll just tack these two in place. So I've got the first three stations all vertical tubes put in. So that brings me up to M here, where we're starting on the uh, baggage compartment. E to M, I believe. <clears throat> and the only difference here is there's a little bulge. The tube comes up, moves out, and then comes back in. And I'm going to put a cargo door option on this, so uh, there's also another little stiffener tube that goes on there. All right, so to, to make this little bulge, I've laid out the dimensions on uh, on the table here, on top of some other crap I drew before, so it makes it a little more confusing. But um, I'm just going to put some nails on the lines here to, so the two rest in the correct angle. This is basically the top, this is the bulge, and this is the bottom. So then I can just lay my tubes on here again, and I will get the angle correct, and then I'll weld this tube together. Uh, e to M put in, which has this, this bow outward. <clears throat> now I do need to put the tube from here to here. There's an inside tube because I'm doing the cargo door and so there's a little extra bracing over here. I went ahead and put in station uh, D to N here. This is just a straight tube like all the rest. There's nothing interesting at all to it. So what I'm going to do next is do the very front tube. So the very front tube up here. So I'm going to start working on B to P, which is the very front one here. And so P is the very end of the top frame, and B is the uh, second stage back. And this one has a, uh, a kick out too, so it comes out and then it goes back in. So I'll start out by cutting the tube and welding it together for both sides to make that angle. All right, so I've worked off the plans here and I've laid out station BP. 
So basically at the bottom it's, it's necked in quite a bit and then it comes out uh, to about three quarter of the top width and then it comes to the, to the top. So I'll do just like I've done on the other and just put a nail at each one of these stations and then I will cut the tube and make it fit the shape. So I got a nice fit now on these two tubes, so I will weld them together. So I fitted the B to P tube on that side. And uh, now I want to put this one on this side. And the kind of critical thing is to get these two corners to end up at the same height. So I set up a laser, I don't know how well you can see it, you can probably see it on my arm there. And it's hitting right on that tube. It's a self-leveling laser. This bottom tube is nice and level. So this is zero. I can set up a laser. I set it up at 22 inches. And now I can kind of fit this bottom tube over here so that I get this joint on the exact same elevation as that one. And then I can go up and fit the top part of it. All right, so I've got this tube and I've started to coat the bottom. And I can put it in here and set it kind of up where it's going to go. And since I got this laser on here, I can see that I need to go down another, well, three eighths of an inch. Anyhow, so I'll just start remove, keep removing material until that lines up on the corner. And then the bottom will be done. All right, so with this guy held in place here, you can see we're right on. Laser's right on the corner, and so is that one. So the bottoms are good. I can go ahead and fit the top up here, and then I'll tap it in place. So B to P here has a cross tube dash level that goes right here. So I just finished fabbing that. And the only thing is I want to get it in there level. So we'll see. Looks good to me. I'll make some little tick marks there so that I can put it back in the same position if it moves around while I weld one side. All right, now I'll tack that in place. Got the tube for the top of the cargo door here. I just finished fitting it here. So it goes like that. So I'll tack it in place. <clears throat> and with this tube going in the bottom, that cargo door opening is springed out. So that's pretty much all the vertical tubes in, also the larger tubes around the cargo door. So with that, I'm going to go on to uh, building the firewall up in the front here.